Good morning, kindergarten. We are here to start our literacy for Tuesday, and we are going to be reading another story today, but this story is quite different than yesterday's fiction story. Today's story is called A Chicken's Life. I actually have Cam sitting here right next to me. Cam, will you tell them hello? Hello. <laughs> He's here. Benny Boo Boo's napping. He wanted to hear this story. Um, and listen while we read it. So it is called A Chicken's Life. And while we read this story, we are looking for um, clues to learn about a chicken's life cycle. Okay? All living things have a life cycle. Okay? And we'll talk about that at the end. So just listen for now. Oh, this book has a table of contents, okay? It tells us what we're going to learn about on each page. So we are going to learn about life cycles on page four. We're going to learn about eggs on page eight. We're going to learn about chicks on page 12. We're going to learn about becoming a chicken on page 18. We're going to learn the life cycle of a chicken on page 22. On page 23 is a glossary. And on page 24 is an index. And we'll talk about those more when we get there. Here we go. All living things have a life cycle. Chickens have a life cycle. A chick hatches from an egg. It grows up. This author used labels to show us. This says egg and there's an arrow showing. A chicken lays eggs. The life cycle starts again. A female chicken is called a hen. Cam, do you know what a female is? Yes. What? A girl. A girl. So girl chickens are called hens. A hen lays eggs. The hen sits on the eggs to keep them warm. A baby chick is inside each egg. The chick hatches from the egg. The chick has yellow feathers. The chick eats worms and insects. That means black. The mother hen keeps her chicks safe. The chick grows bigger. The chick's feathers turn white. A male chick grows into a rooster. Cam, you know what a male is? Um. Boy. A boy. So the boys are called roosters. The girls are called hens. And only hens lay eggs. Mm -hmm. A female chick grows into a hen. Look at how different they look. I know it's really hard, but here's a rooster. Yeah, because okay. it kind of has spikes on the top. Mm -hmm. And here's a hen. Okay. We'll learn, continue to learn more about that. The hen lays eggs. The life cycle starts again. Here we go. Here is the life cycle of a chicken. Okay, I actually made one that I'll show you up on my wall, but I wanted to show you the one that the author put in here because that's where I got my idea from. So it starts with a hen laying an egg. Mm -hmm. Then, from that egg, a chick hatches. The chick grows bigger, and then a young hen does what? lays an egg again and it kind of goes like back. forever yep it goes forever exactly all right here's a glossary it tells us what some words mean um it tells us a hen is a female chicken and that they lay eggs it tells us the word hatch means to be born from an egg it tells us a rooster is a male chicken and it tells us a chick is a young chicken it has yellow feathers and hatches from an egg. So a lot of books will have glossaries in them. This one has a picture glossary, so it shows us a picture to help us better understand. But you can use the glossary to, to figure out the meanings to words that you don't know.
So thanks for listening while I read A Chicken's Life. And I forgot to tell you the author was Nancy Dickman. All right. Thanks for listening to the story. So before I read the story, I actually made um, my own life cycle because we'll want to look back at it later. Um, but we know a chicken's life cycle starts as an egg and then that egg hatches and a chick comes out of the egg. And then that chick grows bigger. And that if it's a girl or a female, it's a hen. And then that hen starts laying eggs. Mm -hmm. And it kind of continues to start over and over again, okay? Um, there's lots of, every, every living thing has a life cycle. Um, Cam's over here, I don't know, he says he doesn't want to be on the camera right now. Mm -hmm. But um, Cam, can you tell us another animal that you can think of and its life cycle? A butterfly. A butterfly. Why don't you come on up over here? Are you ready to be on the camera? Yep, you can come over here. So, a butterfly. So, let's think about a butterfly's life cycle. So, a butterfly, um, I think of the book Eric Carle, um, and the, oh my gosh, Matt, the very hungry caterpillar, okay? So, what is it the butterfly start off as? Um, uh, egg. It, an egg. Out of the egg hatches a caterpillar. The next part of its life cycle is its cocoon, or its chrysalis, and then it turns into a butterfly. And you know what that butterfly does? It lays eggs. So um, if you have time today, you could think of another animal and its life cycle and you can draw it or you could draw a chick's life cycle, okay? Um, you could write it in your blue journal or you could also find a piece of paper that I put in the bag for you, okay? Um, you also have two other station jobs today to do, okay? Um, I talked about one earlier in the morning meeting and it is your um, ought book. Okay, you have to make, cut out the letters, make the words pot, cot, and dot, and hot, and yeah. you may be able to staple them in a book, um, you may not, and that's okay, alright, so that's one of your jobs. Your other station is the same thing as yesterday, you are taking the letters of the alphabet and you are walking around your house and finding things that start with those letters. So Cam, let's see, um, can you see anything in this room? that would go on this paper? J, ch, ch, ooh, Cam said ch, ch, chicken is actually a, my kindergartners know a that. C. A C, yep, it's a digraph, it's a C-H. So under C you could write chicken, because in our house we have chicken right here. Um, we also have, I see windows, I see a bed, I see a clock, a lamp, a TV, a dresser, pictures, D. Um, D. so many different things. So D. now I realize some of these letters are really hard. X, really, I don't even know if I have anything in my house that starts with an X. So it might be really hard to finish. So I really challenge you today to do 10 more. So then you have 20 letters done. And then I would say that's, that's done once you have 20 letters. So challenge you today to get 10 more letters done. Um, and if you want to take pictures and send them to me, you can. All right. Happy Tuesday. Cam, you want to tell them goodbye? Bye. <laughs>